What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Shooting Gallery New England. Today we got another top five video and this is a little bit more interesting because I actually have guns I can show in this video and not have pictures. So today's top five video is the top five guns I like to bring to the range when I'm having a good time and it's just a good range day with the guys or whatever. I don't know what we're going to call it. I think we're just going to call it top five guns I like to bring to the range. All right, so let's get down to the number one pick. All right, guys, before we get into this first firearm that I like to bring to the range, we're probably going to go with number five. This is in no particular order, but before we get in, make sure you're smashing that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified when new videos like this drop every week. We try and drop at least three to four videos a week. If you count the Shooting the Woods podcast, which airs every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube, we talk guns, uh, a little bit of politics, mostly gear stuff all throughout the gun industry so make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can get notified when any of these videos drop and also make sure you're following us on all social media like facebook instagram we're on gun streamer now well gun streamer is back up thank god and then we're also now on full 30 and we're on Powler as well check us all out links are going to be in the description to follow us on all the social media so let's get in to the first farm i like to bring to the range so I guess on the number five spot that I like to bring to the range is actually no different. I have a video on this, so I'm gonna have a card right up around there to check it out. It is the Ruger 1022 rifle, and it is obviously in 22 long rifle. It's a nice carbine length, got the wood stock. I do actually have a few upgrades to this i do have the bx25 trigger which i'm going to have a video coming out soon on how to replace your standard trigger to the bx25 trigger uh i've had this probably for like three years i always like to bring this in range because it's just it's so fun especially i finally was able to get some pre-band mags these are ram uh i think butler creek mags these are 50 round mags i believe uh, there are some like kind of stinkers when it comes to pre-band mags because again 22 long rifle it's dirty so these non bx25 mags aren't going to be as reliable so you can get some butler creeks that like literally you cannot get any function out of them just because they're so dirty but it is literally one of my favorite guns to bring especially if i have someone come with me with, a, with my friends and they're not really new to shooting and the only thing I have to say is I want to change out is the bolt the bolt stop uh, Bolt release bolt stop whatever you want to call it that lever. It's kind of a pain to use but it is probably one of my favorite guns Very easy to use. I probably have at least two three thousand rounds through this I've had it for a couple years But my number five pick for the top five guns I like to bring to the range is the Ruger 1022 rifle now let's get into the number four pick. All right guys, the number four pick on the top five guns I like to bring to the range is my Mossberg 183K. I have a video on this. Again, I'm gonna leave it in a card right up around here. This is a 410 bolt action shotgun. This is probably my best consignment gun find. It has I'm going to go with like a 20 inch barrel. I've never really cared to check, but it has a variable choke tube. As you can tell, you can go between full cylinder modified and uh, what else have we got here? Cylinder modified and full choke. Uh, I can shoot pretty much anything I want out of here. Buckshot, birdshot, slugs. It has a three round box, internal box mag and one of the pipes so probably three plus one for capacity has a little bit of patina on it but this is just it, it, it's fun and it's a fun gun again i have a video go check it out it's got a rear tang safety the trigger is actually pretty good for a bolt action shotgun but this is probably one of my favorite shotguns i own i'm not a big shotgun guy either like i got one pump and i got another bolt action that i'm gonna do a video on eventually but this is my number four pick for top five guns to bring to the range, the Mossberg 183K. So let's get into the number three firearm that I like to bring to the range. So the number three firearm is actually, it was tough because I like 
to shoot a, a wide variety of guns, especially, you know, now I'm always bringing the camera to the range, doing a gun review, testing out something where I need video footage from. So it's rare that I actually can just kind of go and do my own thing. There are some times where I go to the range and either, okay, the, it's too windy out or, you know, hey, listen, I just need to figure out what's going on. So this gun is always in my range bag and it is my Ruger Mark IV standard pistol that I have tandemized to God and back. We actually got, spoiler, we got more videos coming on tandemizing a Ruger Mark IV standard. I'm going to make a video about that soon. But, so this is my Mark IV standard pistol. Uh, it's got 10 round mag. Let's go over some of the features on it. Obviously, 22 long rifle. I love 22s, guys. This is, the 22 long rifle is probably one that I shoot a lot most of because one, it's inexpensive. I can buy it cheap and stack it deep. So I'm always on tap with 22 long rifle. I'm never of sh any short of 22 long rifle. So it's a standard Mark IV pistol. I have the Titan mag release. I have the Victory Trigger. This is pulling around two and a half, three pounds. I have the Shadow Picatinny rail. I'm still looking on what type of uh, optic I want to put on it, whether I put like a holo sun or some type of vortex, maybe a Burris fast fire, I don't know. And to top it all off, I have the halo charging handle, which I still think is the best, one of the best next to the victory trigger, one of the best upgrades you can do for a Mark IV, because you got these cheese grater serrations on the bolt, sorry, I messed up that for a second, uh, but these cheese grater bolt serrations are going to just gnaw your hands. This thing is just so... I, I love it. I can't say enough of it. I'm going to leave a card to with a full playlist right around here. And you can see the installations, my full review, range footage of this. All that's going to be in the playlist right up here, okay? But my number three pick, and again, look at this. Ten, I got a 10-round mag because I am in Massachusetts, so I can't have any fun sticks. I don't even think they make 15. They probably could make extensions for it. If there isn't, that is something people should make. It's extensions for the Mark IV. So, and look at this mag release. The Titan mag release is just butter. Butter. So the number three pick, guys, is my Ruger Mark IV standard pistol and 22 long rifle that I've tandemized. All right, guys, let's get so into the number my number two. two pick is something that I'm still about, I'm in the process of making a video on, but this is kind of my go to war rifle and it's not the more made me do it build i know we just got done with the video series last video i just posted so i'm gonna go over this in the last in the end of the video before we close out today but it's as on right now for right now it's not the more made me do it build it is my caltech su16c this is chambered in 556 it's a gas piston 18 and a half inch barrel 556-223 semi-automatic. And the good thing is it's detachable so I can get these bad Larrys which are the pre-ban or pre-assault weapons ban magazines in the state of Massachusetts that go for about 40 bucks a pop I might add. So I have a 20 which I personally is my favorite round in here and this is obviously it is empty. No mag in the chamber. I think aesthetically the 20 round mag looks better on this. It has a threaded barrel, threaded half by 28, and it's a foldable version, so you can technically take this down and put it in a backpack, which that's how I actually used to transfer it uh, from range to range. I got two, it comes with two 10 round mags. Again, it's a gas piston, locks back on the last shot fired, bolt releases right here. I'm gonna have a full review coming out on this, but this is probably one of my favorite guns. Like top, I uh, I always wanted 5.56, and considering I am in Massachusetts, this is before the more made me do it build. I wanted something 5.56 that took AR-15 magazines because, again, there is an assault weapons ban in the state of Massachusetts. So this is probably the next best thing, and I wasn't paying the $2,000 for a Tavor. And I wasn't ready for a bullpup yet because I was stuck between this and the Keltec RDB, which is the bullpup 556 semi-automatic, which again, it still took Stanhead mags, detachable, 5.56, So this I can comes with a Picatinny, some type of rear aperture sight, adjustable front sight. But this is 
probably one of my favorite rifles I own. Uh, and then this is the 30 round mag, it is empty. It's nice, locks back, look at that, it is just butter. Um, I'm gonna have a full review coming out on this. Uh, I've just recently found that it does take 5.56223. I'm mostly shooting the green tip uh, M855, 62 grain 5.56 out of this. Not as accurate as I thought because it has a 1 in 7 inch barrel twist, but I just threw some 55 grain 223 from Federal American Eagle, and this gun loves that. It's kind of a finicky gun when it comes to ammo. What I've noticed, again, this is just one. You know, a test of one so don't get be like oh man I'm telling you you're wrong on that I, I probably am but this is just my gun so I have one test of one gun so guys my number two pick is my kel SU-16 rifle alright guys we are at the number one pick for the top five guns that I like to bring to the range to have a fun time with the guys or just all around range day and that is my Ruger P85 in 9mm. Yes, that's right, I said it. It's a Ruger P85. This gun has upwards of 35 to 4,000 rounds through it. Takes 9mm parabellum, and I, I cannot say how much wear and tear I have on this 9mm. This is my first 9mm I ever owned, and it was actually my, one of my first carry guns in nine millimeter i carried this for years okay it is heavy as all get up i have a full review on this pistol which is going to be in a card right over here but this is i'm probably i, I gotta change out the sights the sights are starting to kind of get a little dim because again it has about four thousand rounds through it it definitely shows some wear marks so a little backstory i bought this from a family member because when I was getting into teaching in firearm safety, I needed to have you know, a semi-automatic and I wanted to have at least a nine millimeter for people that wanted to have a little bit more kick other than a 22 in classes. So I picked this up, I bought it for like 300 bucks and it also came with this kind of like super dope uh, leather out the waistband holster. It actually has a Ruger Mark, Ruger Mark leather on it. Um, if you can kind of see that, let's see if the camera can pick that up. Yeah, it has it has it has the uh, Falcon on it. I I don't know if people call this the Falcon, the Dragon. I call it the the, the Falcon or Phoenix, uh, but the the Ruger logo. Now, and another good thing about this gun, it came with two 15 round pre band mags. A little backstory on this gun too. This actually used to be a police officer's gun, duty gun. And this has had a few, probably four or five owners that I know of. They went around a friend group and it just ended up coming to me. It is easy to clean. I love the action on it. I cannot say enough good things about the Ruger P85. When I'm having a bad day with shooting like my Glock 19, we all, we all have seen the video of my Glock 19 where I'm not have, able to shoot it very accurately. This is always in my range bag and it is always tried and true. I've never had any issues with it. So when I'm having a bad day shooting nine millimeter, I always take this out and this really tell this gun tells me if I'm having a bad day at the range or it's just that gun in particular because I can shoot the living daylights out of this pistol. Go to war style, this would be it. I don't care about weight. I am the most accurate with this pistol and I don't care what you guys want to troll me in the comments saying, oh my God, that gun's for the pores. Okay, fine for the pores. I'm poor I guess because this is probably my favorite pistol I own and that's hands down that's across that's a definitely away from my Tech 9 my Ruger Mark IV pistol my 1911 that I built and the 1911 that I own which is the SR 1911 so my number one pick of a gun that I top five guns that I like to bring to the range is the Ruger P85 in 9 millimeter this is Hall of Fame pistol here, guys. I definitely recommend picking them up. Again, check out the review that I put in the card about 10 seconds ago on the Ruger P85. So let's get this video closed out, okay? All right, guys, so now you guys know my top five picks on guns I like to bring to the range to have a fun time with the guys. So I know you're, when you're watching this video, 
It's probably going to be Monday, right before the Shooting in the Woods podcast, which again, make sure you swing by in the live chats for, because I always like to, you know, keep in touch with my subscriber base. We are getting dangerously close to the 250 subscriber giveaway. Again, link's going to be in the description. Go watch that video, see how you can get entered to win a Ruger Mark IV victory trigger from Tandem Cross. And that is going to be our 250 subscriber giveaway. Please get yourself entered in that. I will do it live on the Shooting in the Woods podcast when we get a little bit over 250 because sometimes YouTube likes to take away subscribers. Now, again, since this is Monday, and I know the last video we posted was the finishing touch of the More Maybe Do It build. Now, I am waiting to get some ammo because, guys, I have brought that gun to the range twice now. One, I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with it the first time. The second time, I was able to get the right ammo for it, which is the 62 grain 5.56, and I sighted the Sturka S3 scope in the rifle, brought it to the range, the microphone malfunctioned. I had three hours worth of range footage on t so many reviews, I had like four videos filmed. And unfortunately, we, I had a uh, dummy moment and the mic wasn't fully plugged in, so I had no audio. And I have a very, like, kind of OCD of when I like to film my videos. So you're going to be probably waiting another week on the range video for the more made me do it build. I do apologize for that, but it's just I have a standard of videos I would keep here on Shooting Gallery New England. But thank you very much for joining us here today on top five videos. I like, for, uh, top five videos, totally top five guns I like to bring to the range when my friends are around or I'm just really going to have a fun time guys. So make sure you hit subscribe so you can get notified when a new video goes live and also follow us on all social media which is going to be linked below and we will see you soon guys. Be safe and stay shooting. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.